Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce from LightsailVR.com. In the last video, we set up the sample scene. In this video, we're gonna be talking about resources and where you can learn about Octane Standalone. So if you go up to help, you can open the online manual and that just brings you to this site here and you can click on any of the third-party add-ons or you can click on the standalone edition. So if we go ahead and click on that, it brings you here to the user manual. And this is a great resource for you to learn. There is so much information here. For the most part, I think it's laid out really well. So it has everything from requirement, hardware requirements, software requirements, interface layout. So this is a great way to learn about Octane in general and certainly for Octane standalone as well. If we go to the index, we can search for things. So we could search for daylight environment. We can click on that and it will bring us to that part of the documentation. We can go to the glossary, we can search for something. We can see here render layers. It gives us the definition of render layers. The next resource is this site. I'll leave a link in the description. But there are a lot of articles that talk about everything from color management to caustics and aces, etc. And there's a lot of information on the Octane Render standalone. So if you actually click on this one, there's a lot of information about using the standalone and the best practices and different, different ideas. There's lots of videos here that show you how to do stuff. I have learned a lot from this site and I keep coming back to this site. Another great resource is the Octane Render Discord. So I'll leave a link for the invite in the Discord. If you scroll down, there's the Octane standalone channel. There's also all the plugins, but if you go to the standalone channel, you'll find this user who makes this website. This is a great place to learn about Octane standalone and ask questions. You can chat with me, you can chat with all these people and get some great information. You can search and then you can see where I was asking questions about the environment. But if you go back further, you can see all sorts of information. And you can see sometimes they're not in the same channel. So this one's about Octane Houdini but it might actually be helpful. So yeah, this is a great place to learn. You can also check out the Octane forums. For standalone specifically, I'm not sure that this is the most helpful place. There's definitely lots of great information here. Lots that you can see, there's tons and tons of posts. You can learn about the latest news and announcements, the plugin support, etc. There's also the Octane Render Facebook group. So this is a great resource. And one of the great features about Facebook groups is that you can search. So let's search for Photon. And then you can also filter. So you can say, okay, I just want to see, I've already seen this post and I want to, I could want to find it again. So I want to filter it by posts I've already seen or the most recent or posted by et cetera. So if you want to say posted by Jules, you can find some great information quickly here. And then of course there's YouTube, my videos, my playlists. This is going to be a great place for you to, to learn. You can also leave comments. I will try to respond to them directly in YouTube and also YouTube in general. You can search for Octane. You may have to get creative because most of the great tutorials for Octane are in Cinema 4D and there are some in Blender as well and, and a few other programs. So you may have to watch what people are doing in Cinema 4D and try to figure out how to recreate it in standalone. Okay, hopefully you find these resources helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, if you have any comments. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.